Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss the following question. What is a boundary line in graphing? A boundary line typically comes up in the context of inequalities, which are very similar to your typical equations, but with one key difference. Instead of writing an equal sign between the left side and the right side of the equation, we're going to use an inequality, which means that this is true anytime y is less than 3x minus 2. So the graph of this will include all pairs of y and x coordinates for which this statement is true. And the boundary line comes into play when we just graph what this would look like if it were an equality. So we'll start by graphing a few points. If we plug in x is equal 0, we get y equals negative 2. Graph point, a few more points. Here. OK. Then from here, we graph the boundary line of this region with simply a dashed line connecting the points that we've already put on our graph. This indicates the edge of the range of values for which this is true. And then since y is going to be less than this, we can fill in this side of the graph. So what this tells us is that for every point within this region here that I've shaded, the y-coordinate will be less than 3 times the x-coordinate minus 2. And then this line that we graphed earlier is our boundary line. But let's do another example. Let's say y is greater than or equal to negative x. OK. So the, the line y equals negative x should be fairly familiar. Looks something like that. Now, one slightly different piece of notation here. When you have a strict inequality, meaning it's just less than or just greater than, then we use a dashed line to indicate that the points on that line do not satisfy this. However, if it is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, then we make this a solid line to indicate that the points on this boundary line do satisfy our inequality. And since y is greater, we shade everything above it. So your boundary line will be dashed if it is a strict inequality, and it will be solid if it is not a strict inequality. And that's all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed what is a boundary line in graphing.